Hello and welcome to another packer demonstration. This time it's a live application at personal.eswc2009.org. I've created, together with Michael Horsenblas, a dashboard system for the European Semantic Web Conference. And using the machine readable data provided by Dairy at the Semantic Web Dog Food Server, we've created a set of widgets related to conferences, sessions, papers, organizations, topics, and people. And these widgets are driven by Sparkle queries and each link in this widget is not just a hyperlink but actually a linked open data identifier. What does that mean? It means that we can not only click on that link and get machine readable data or human readable data, we can also use it to interact with the widgets. For example, let's say I'm interested in a certain topic. So this is just a simple keyword search. But now we can use that identifier for Sparkle, which is actually a, a topic, a DBpedia resource. We can take that and drag that, for example, on the people widget. And now we get those people who somehow are experts in Sparkle, because usually because they published a paper. And likewise, I can take a single person or a university and see about which topics is that organization or in which topic is that involved. You can also take another identifier, topic identifier, and let me show all the organizations who are at the conference and who know about linked data. And then I might take an organization identifier to find out which people are at the conference. And then I may take a person identifier to find out if that person as a session at during the conference. And I might even take a date to see if there are any conflicting sessions at the same time. Or I might find out which other sessions there are on a certain track. Or I can see which other papers are presented during that time. or which affiliation a certain person has. And if I want to find out more about a certain person, I can just click on the identifier, which will open a little inline linked data browser. And from there I can continue browsing the linked data graph. Here we have played with the main public dashboard, but you can also sign up and create your own dashboards. So this is mine, for example. And each of these widgets can be moved or resized, and there is a set of widgets that you can add to your personal dashboard. You can also make your dashboard private or public. Apart from the main dashboard, we've also created an ESWC Live dashboard, where you can follow conversations and see which tracks are currently running. So if you want to play with it, ask Michael Hausenblas for an invite code and go to personal.eswc2009.org and have fun. Thanks.